You see this black plastic piece here, another black plastic piece here, another one up here, and this metal grounding frame here. <clears throat> so, first things first, we want to remove the exhaust fan in the back here. There are two screws, one on either side of it. And we will remove those first. These ones should stay in the fan. Uh, you don't have to fully remove them. And then the plug, again, just get your fingers as close to the connector as possible with a gentle tug. Okay, the next piece that should be removed is this front black plastic piece here. And there are one, two, three screws for that. And it is connected. On this side here, you'll have to pull it out a little bit, but be careful not to damage the Wi-Fi coax cables. Also, uh, there is a little square nut, you can see right there, uh, that is what holds the coin battery. Uh, this, that's what this screw screws into. Careful not to lose that. Uh, it does sit in a little right here. It sits right in there as such. And it's prone to fall out, but once you screw it back in, you can set it in there really without much trouble. Okay, the next piece will be the second um, or middle piece. There are two screws to this. Ah, I lied again, there's actually a third screw. This, uh, these shield fingers here are actually on a shield plate underneath which is tied to a screw right in the middle here. So. Undo the Wi-Fi coax so you don't tear it, snag it, anything like that. Damn it. Okay. Next is the final uh, black plastic piece. Uh, You'll notice here are your Wi-Fi antennas. So be ever so careful not to damage those. I don't know about you, but I certainly can't do that kind of soldering without a magnifying glass. Here there are one, two screws as well. chassis, but uh, it looks like we need to. There's a third screw up top here that needs to be removed. And yes indeed, the one on the Wi-Fi connector uh, right here holding that down also needs to be Now you can remove the Wi-Fi connectors, or antennas, excuse me. I guess maybe we didn't need to do that. Uh, 
uh, set it aside so you don't snag the coax cables or anything like that. Now then, around the frame, let's see, I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 screws. So, let's just go ahead and start that. Okay, now that those are all removed, we can remove the chassis or uh, shielding. Do that ever so slightly. The fins here, the heat sink fins, are not connected to this chassis, so you will have to kind of wiggle over the top of them. And uh, if this is your first time removing it, uh, right here will probably feel like there's something stuck. Uh, there's a heat sink compound on the Wi-Fi card. Uh, it's kind of gluing it in there, but uh, it should come off just if you keep a consistent yet uh, not abusive tug on it. And now we expose the motherboard. And we can pull off the Wi-Fi here. And there we are. Let's see. Ah, in order to remove the motherboard entirely, there are four screws inside the heat sink here. We can remove. We do not want to remove the heat sink itself as this will uh, expose the processor and graphics chip. And you may have to reapply heat sink compound. If you feel like doing this, go right ahead. Otherwise, I advise you can't sit. And now we can remove the motherboard from the chassis. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed the tutorial, maybe got a little thing out of it, and happy hunting on your own endeavors. We'll see you next episode.